again, everybody. Welcome into another edition of Inside Cowboy Football with McNeese head football coach Lance Guidry. And we are here in the Emerald Room, Coach. Very nice setting to talk tonight. Very uh, nice. Very exclusive. Yes, it is. Here at Delta Downs, of course, where we are every week this year. And hopefully you're enjoying the scenery shifts and that sort of thing. Speaking of scenery shifts, Coach, Florida International or Florida Tech Florida came Tech. to town. I got to get it right. Last Saturday, any... Uh, any uh, unusual preparations, or was it standard stuff? Well, it was standard stuff, but uh, we didn't get what we prepared for, that's for sure. You know, we was preparing for our team to get with two tight ends and use the running back a lot in the run game, and we got just the opposite. We got four wide receivers, empty sets, and everything else, so there was a lot of game planning doing on the sideline. Had to work hard with that marks a lot and that chalkboard. Had to work very hard. Very I got hard. you. I got you. All right, stay with us, folks. We're going to look at exactly what happened last Saturday night right after this pause. Inside Cowboy Football would like to thank the 2017 show sponsors. Delta Downs, we're famous for exciting casino and racing action. And with a stunning new hotel, pool, and restaurant, the new Delta Downs is just too good to pass up. So there's no cars in this commercial, but we're not going to talk about cars. We're going to talk about an experience. I think it's safe to say that people's expectations of their customer experience these days is pretty low. But you're about to spend your hard-earned money, sometimes tens of thousands of dollars of it. Don't settle for being treated like you're worth less than that. Expect a red carpet experience, not the same old shady salesman or bully manager or long hold times you're used to. All you have to do is raise your expectations and then look around and see who's left to choose from. Every Friday and Saturday in September, it's a cash grab at Delta Downs. Every 30 minutes, you could win a chance to face off in the cash machine and grab up to $10,000 cash. Just take I-10 to Vinton. Visit deltadowns.com for details. Well, Coach Lance Gidry, let's look at what happened last Saturday night. Let's look at the first half first. And, of course, if you go to a cowboy game, it's got to be tailgating. Oh, look at that good stew right there. That's a Magnolite pot. Oh, it is. That's that other pot, yeah. Okay. Got All some right. burgers going burgers. on right there. It looks pretty good. Burgers. Here they come. Yeah, we got a couple Boy Scouts, Cub Scouts walking, bringing the wood. Team coming out is really nice. Isn't it nice to get close to the fans a little bit when you walk the kids? Through? It is nice. and uh, we're, Eventually, we're going to have uh, all the youth uh, football teams and cheerleaders walk with us as well. So good. try to get everybody involved. Good. Cannons were working. Here Cannons come the working. Cowboys. Yep, Cowboys coming out. Exciting. Beautiful day. Beautiful day. It was. It was nice. It wasn't too hot. Uh, it was great. It's so opening kickoff right here. I got a pretty good kick. They uh, took the took the return to the field, which we was expecting them to come into the boundary. Caused by a little bit of surprise, but uh, we adjusted pretty well. They got to 35 a little bit further than we wanted them to. They come off right off the bat, empty set, and uh, quarterback takes off running, and we end up getting a fumble. Right here, got a strip, got on it. B.J. Blunt got on it, so uh, good start for the Cowboys, and we capitalized. Cowboys take advantage of the mistake. Go, of course, James getting the ball. Darius Crowley beats him to the outside, uh, gets in uh, right here on the one yard line. I think Justin Pratt's going to take it in right here. So, a good start for the Cowboys getting a turnover and be able to get in the end zone. Love it's, that scoring early, coach. Yeah, they stuffed this right here, but we end up pushing, pushing. It looked like a rugby match or something. Well, the Cowboys weren't going to be denied. They got in the red zone and they made them pay for it. We did. It was a lot better this week of uh, in the red zone, of course, offensively. Uh, here's a little screen set right here. Did a good job of recognizing that. It's actually one of the plays we did work on. Uh, so, of course, it's a quick kick. It was fourth down, and uh, we thought he was going to go for it, but the quarterback ended up kicking the ball. Uh, punt. 
Quarterback Mark Cato was the guy's name, and he was a real deal, it looked like. Really good football player. There's a good check down. David Ham, him running over a linebacker. Uh, David's playing really well right now. James back to throw. Throws a nice throw. Nick Edwards is also contributing well. You know, Porker Ogeron was out because of a concussion. So Nick Edwards stepped in really big. He's done it the last two weeks. And this is one of our new guys, Kyron Sutton, with a one-hand catch. Red-shirted last year, so it's good to get him to score right there. He's going to be a very explosive player for McNeese. Beautiful catch. Ben Jones needs to watch out, stay on his feet. Could hurt his tailbone right there. <laughs> the congratulation move, huh, Coach? So we have 14 nut right now, feeling good. Here's a good throw and catch coming out of the backfield by their running back. Uh, linebacker needed to get a little collision on him, didn't. But a good play by them. I thought Six was a really good player. Quarterback was excellent. He did a great job on the night, throwing in the tough coverage right there, ended up getting it in there. Coach, so, he wound up over 300 yards on the night, passing. Yeah. We get him a third down. We thought we had a chance. We brought a lot of pressure right there, got sacked. So as always, you got to force him into third and longs. It's a good speed sweep by Nick Edwards right here. Good blocking on the perimeter. Stays on his feet, rolls over the this. top. Yeah. Good Didn't play quit. By Didn't quit. quit. Here's a good throw and catch. Good run by Ken getting vertical. Ken's having a good season so far. Not a lot of touchdowns, but getting positive yards. It's another motion. Tried to go with a, a screen and go right here. Didn't, sniffed it out pretty good. Now to get us through the first quarter, Coach, Cowboys up 14 zip. Yeah, we uh, here's a good play by the quarterback, kind of ab-libbing. Good Ooh, hit by Jermaine what Antoine. What really good man. hit. Wow. Kid's tough, though. Kid wasn't going to come out the game. We knew that. Got a punt. Good height on the punt. Oh, Jake Smith gets him a tackle right here. Oh, nice. Good coverage. <laughs> good coverage. Well, it was good coverage. It's a good hike punt. Here they go banging a guy out the set out, out of the backfield again. Uh, D line does a good job of retracing. Quarterback was elusive. He's strong. Stepped out, uh, stepped away from pressure a lot. This wasn't good. Messed up on protection right here. Had a chance to get a big play off too. Forces to a long down situation and Ken Shelby. Kind of never recovered. You know, he could be covered and still catch the ball because he's got good size. So. Yeah, incredible. That was huge for us right there. It's a good run by Justin Pratt right here. Nice cutback, Coach. Really good cutback. Gets out of bounds inside the five. Cowboys are knocking on it again. Knocking on the door. Give a right here, give him a throw. Sometimes we overthrow Justin because he's so short. Gets in the end zone, so the Cowboys are up 21 nut. Maybe short, Coach, but he's quick. He is he's quick. quick. You know, it's 331 left, and uh, these guys aren't going away, though. You know? But you got to be feeling kind of good You're right feeling now. really you good. 21 zip. We're feeling good, but they end up hitting this under screen right here, get a little positive yards for first down. Uh, so we got to keep playing. Uh, there he is again. Ab Levin should have had the sack. He gets out of pressure, throws it to a guy, makes the first down. So they continue moving the chains. They're doing a good job in their two minute series. Missed tackle. Right there. Missed tackles are hurt you. So they're starting to get close to, of course, to the uh, to the goal line right here. Uh, check down the running back. Great move right here on our linebacker uh, by their running back. And he gets in. So we're going to go in and have 21 to 7. Uh, kind of didn't want to end on a bad note right there, but is what it is. 104 left. We have the ball. Uh, we, we was going to try and take some chances right here, but. We didn't want to get too risky because we was going to get the ball coming out of half because we deferred. Okay. We didn't want the toss. So. All right. And that's it. That's, that's it for the first, the first half. half. So the Cowboys go in 21-7. Feeling kind of good. Feeling kind of good. Uh, we are. We uh, we probably could have pressed a little bit right there. But, you know, with us having the ball coming out in the second half, it's good just to bring it in and come back out. All right. Fans, stay with us. We'll take a pause and be back with the second half action right after this. At Delta Downs, we're famous for exciting casino and racing action. And with a stunning new hotel, pool, and restaurant, the new Delta Downs is just too good to pass up. Game time. It's time for Market Basket Smokehouse Sausage and Boudin. Tailgating at the big game or grilling on the patio before kickoff, Market Basket Smokehouse is your winning team. 
We make all our sausage and boudin in-store with seven unique blends of sausage and five award-winning boudin recipes. And remember Market Basket Party Trays from the Bakery Deli and Fresh Fruit of Veggie Trays, perfect for pre-game appetizers. Market Basket and Market Basket Smokehouse, the winning team. Folks in southwest Louisiana demand a dependable truck. And the Chevy Silverado is the most dependable, longest-lasting full-size truck on the road over the last 30 years. Plus, the 2017 J.D. Power Dependability Study confirms Chevrolet is the number one domestic brand with full-size trucks, while Ford and Ram are dead last. So for the most dependable full-size truck, check out the 2017 Chevy Silverado today at your Lake Charles area Chevy dealers. Every Friday and Saturday in September, it's a cash grab at Delta Downs. Every 30 minutes, you can win a chance to face off in the cash machine and grab up to $10,000 cash. Just take I-10 to Vinton. Visit deltadowns.com for details. All right, Coach Lance Gitter, let's go on with the second half action in the Cowboys' first home game this year. Second half, uh, we'll come out and get the ball back to Justin Pratt. That's always a, a good person to get it to. Converted first down right here, which is really good. Uh, Coming out, got some pressure again on him, you know. Those guys were blitzing on third down. Their defensive coordinator is by the name of Rick Minner. Rick been everywhere. It's been an FBS for a long time, and a, it's a great call by them on a screen. Went to four wide receivers to one side, uh, hustling, trying to get them down. They had a good game plan. They really did. I was impressed with their coaches. Coach, how many transfers they have on their team? Yeah, about six or seven of them okay. uh, from different places. We couldn't play the ball any better than this. Look you know, the guy looked back for the ball, went up to the interception. Guy took it over the top of his head. Yep. So now it's, you know, it's starting to get tight. It's 21-14. 9.42 to go in the third quarter. Yeah. Things getting a little bit A little bit serious. too tight. Yes, sir. We have getting a sack good right play. here by uh, Jamario Gross, which is really good. Good. Forced That's what he punt. does. Yes, sir. It's third down right here. Bringing some more pressure. What an interception by Jermaine Antoine. Two weeks straight with interception. Really good play. Looks Barely like, got his feet in. Looks like he caught it on his stomach almost. He did. Flat out. And here we go, Justin Pratt. It's hard to go sideways Look on that turf. Look at this guy. He's only going to get better through the year. Punt, bad snap, good play by Alex. Gets it off. Hits the guy in the hands. We get it. You know, if there wasn't a muff rule, that would have been two weeks straight we scored on something just like this. I think that was the turning point of it the game. It was the turn. That was the big play. If we had a big play of the game, that was the big play, the turning point. That's what I'm thinking, too, Coach. And you so, take it in. You score. You get the seven. You take it in. Yes, sir. Momentum comes back the Cowboys' way. That's right. So now we up two touchdowns. Gives us a little breathing room. It's 28-14, but they're not going to go away anytime soon. Uh, good pass right here. Andre just misjudged it. They get back inside the 20. You know, they're battling against us right now. They checked option right here. Cornerback didn't get off the block, and they got in for a score. So now it's still seven points. So now it's 28-21. Uh, they're not going away. A little frustration on defense right now, but offense is going to come back for us, I believe. Well, it's dig deep time now, yes, Coach. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. 2.09 to go in the third quarter. And seven point victory or a seven point margin for the Cowboys. And David Hamm, big surge right there by offensive line. I think they're starting to get a little tired defensively. Now we're in the fourth quarter. We're in the fourth quarter. We always preach to our kids about fourth quarter being the strongest team. So uh, we was able to run the football really well. David again running really hard. Ended up getting the first down right here, which was good. And wound up with 43 yards on 11 carries on the night for the Cowboys. Good throw and catch again. Ken Shelby comes up with it. Well, he just took it away from him. <laughs> he, he did. He did. And then we're going to cap it off with David Ham running to the end zone, which is really good. So I gave us some more breathing room right here. We got to go back on the field defensively. 35-21. Ten minutes left to go in the ballgame. Yes, so. sir. And here they come again. Here they come, but we're going to bring a little bit of pressure on them. Good job by Shari Goins. Bring a little bit more pressure on them. We got another sack. Livens again. I think he had two on the night. Looks like you were figuring them out by now, Coach. Yeah, well, we can always feel like we can get them to third down. We got a chance. Here was a fluke play. I don't even want to talk about this play. Mm. That's what made me mad, Mr. Mm. Mm. <clears throat> Big play for them. Yes, sir. 
We ended up stopping them. We got the offense back and then the ball back, and then Ben Jones broke one at the end of the game. Big play for us. Ben does that a lot at the end of the game. They people get tired, him. and then he's fresh. Yeah. They can't catch him, Coach. It's a big run by Ben. Touchdown for the Cowboys. Yes, sir. Got the crowd going big time. Minute 18 to go in the ball game. You're up 42 21. That's it. That's it. They came out throwing, and they went down throwing. <laughs> there you go, Coach. All right, Cowboy fans. Stay with us. We got more show coming up right after this. At Delta Downs, we're famous for exciting casino and racing action. And with a stunning new hotel, pool, and restaurant, the new Delta Downs is just too good to pass up. What does it mean to be Southland strong? It's not just big wins. It's success in the classroom. And being engaged with service. Family. Passion. Integrity. Overcoming adversity. Hard work and dedication. Bettering people around you. Striving for excellence. Leadership and competition. On our campuses. And in our communities. We are South and Strong. So there's no cars in this commercial, but we're not going to talk about cars. We're going to talk about an experience. I think it's safe to say that people's expectations of their customer experience these days is pretty low. But you're about to spend your hard-earned money, sometimes tens of thousands of dollars of it. Don't settle for being treated like you're worth less than that. Expect a red carpet experience, not the same old shady salesman or bully manager or long hold times you're used to. All you have to do is raise your expectations and then look around and see who's left to choose from. For nearly 85 years, Merchants and Farmers Bank has provided dependable, personal banking for Central and Southwest Louisiana. I saw your new boat last week, Chuck. Looks like fun. We have eight convenient locations, checking and savings accounts, online bill pay, mortgage and personal loans, even a new app that allows you to take a picture of your paycheck and deposit it. Can't wait to see your kitchen remodel, Pam. Come in today to open a personal account. Merchants and Farmers, your future begins with our history. Every Friday and Saturday in September, it's a cash grab at Delta Downs. Every 30 minutes, you could win a chance to face off in the cash machine and grab up to $10,000 cash. Just take I-10 to Vinton. Visit deltadowns.com for details. Coach, let's look at the final stats from last Saturday night. Final stats, of course, the main stat, we won. Not Amen. like last week. Amen. 42-21, uh, we had 22 first downs there, 18. We had 190 yards rushing to there, 33. Uh, we had 249 passing yards. They had 333. They threw the ball uh, pretty much the whole game on him scrambling. But anyway, they had uh, we had 439 total yards. They had 366. Penalties were about even, both 55 yards. But we had eight. They had seven. We had a ball for over 35 minutes, 36 minutes. They're 23. Third down conversion. They were six of 13. We were three of 11. I mean, they were three of 11. We were six of 13. They had three turnovers. We had none, which was great. Good. The red zone. We scored every time, and they missed one. So. Uh, Stats went to the Cowboys. Good. Big improvement over Big the Big improvement. Before. All right, let's see what the players thought about it after the game. I thought we had a great team win, uh, special teams, defense, and offense. Uh, they're Florida Tech, they're a good ball club. Uh, they play really scrappy. They bring, they bring a lot of stuff that most teams don't, a lot of blitzes. But, uh, you know, we had a ride through the ups and downs, and, uh, you know, I think we came together as a team and win. I thought we uh, played well for the most part. We. We had a few mental errors, uh, communication errors, but as far as effort and uh, physically, we played well. It, it was it was hard to, to throw the ball into some of their stuff towards the end, so we really had to get our run game going, which we really did. Um, the up front did a heck of a job tonight, and both passing and off, uh, both rushing and uh, passing. Well, everything really starts with the O line, and if they're giving up sacks, you know, I, I have faith in them that that they will, you know, keep their head up and continue to work hard because, you know, without a run game also, there's no pass game for me. But that's why I try to do a lot of blocking and stuff like that so that I can help the running backs out and quarterback feel confident in me of making plays like that for the, for the team. Oh, absolutely. Um, I think it was a great week of practice overall, both defense and offense. And uh, that's what happens when you have a good practice, you come out with a victory. And honest, the practice was kind of rough this week. Coaches was on us every single day. Uh, offense had to run a couple of times. We had to do a lot of up and downs. And it was days where we just was not communicating. And that all helped out for a night like this so that we could have momentum going into the next game. Coach Gidry, I'm seeing confidence in your players this week. Yeah, you know, uh, we try to correct the problems that we had last week. We had a lot of penalties. Uh, so we ran the kids at practice for the penalties and 
Uh, we stressed uh, making sure that we scored in the red zone, so we did a lot of red zone periods against each other. And also we worked on extra point field goal block, making sure we had no more leakage like last week. And I thought we improved in all those areas. All right. Fans, we're going to take you to the coach's interview now. Zach Bronson, he is in charge of safeties at McNeese State University. Well, today we're in our assistant coaches segment, and we're very fortunate to have a former McNeese great, in fact, the only four-time All-Southland Conference selectee in the history of McNeese State University. Standing right here, Coach Zach Bronson. Coach, uh, welcome into the program today. Hey, thanks for having me. And you're the safeties coach here at McNeese State University, yes, right? Yes, I am. I'm, I'm, I work with the high safeties, the free safeties, and the weak safeties. All right. What exactly do you do with the high safeties and the weak safeties and the free safeties? Well, those guys are um, kind of the, the quarterback of the defense on the back end. And so um, we um, basically we, we do a lot of studying um, on our opponents, and um, we make checks on the back end for the secondary for everything to roll right, you know, and in coverage. And um, so we um, we do a lot of study in formations and, um, you know, learning the opponents and, and what they do and, and all that good stuff. How much film do you watch a week, Coach? Um, we watch a lot of film, um, especially as a staff in the morning. Um, we have a lot of time to um, to um, study our opponents and then, you know, try to get good reads on them and, you know, try to figure out what they do so it gives us the best chance to win on Saturdays. So you're looking for the trends and maybe a mistake or a weakness or some flaw that you can capitalize on when you play them that Saturday night? Yes, sir. Um, some offenses tend to give away some things they do, you know, um, um, and so we, we pick up on those things for us, um, you know, seeing formations and um, being ahead of um, the adjustments for us when in motion and everything so we get the defense lined up. And uh, in the secondary, the free and weak safety has, you know, has to make an abundant amount of calls, you know, when those things happen. And so we spend a lot of time getting prepared for that. Is the safety the player of last resort? If the safety's beat, it's a touchdown pretty much. Uh, most of the time, you know, because um, those guys are the last line of defense. Um, and so whenever, um, you know, the opponents are able to make a play on us, um, we have to be able to um, get those guys down and, uh, and, and live to see another play. Which is more important, Coach, uh, to be uh, speed in a safety, reaction time in a safety, uh, vision in a safety? What are you looking for? Well, we look for all of those things, you know, and, but mainly um, just being a, a physical player, a smart player who's able to dissect um, the offense and the opponents whenever they come out and uh, in, for, in different formations. And, um, then, you know, it all comes down to being, taking good angles to the ball and uh, being good tacklers. Now, Coach, you're from Jasper, Texas, right? Yes, I am. How did the Jasper, Texas area come out after Harvey? Have you had a chance? Do you have any relatives still living there? Yes, my family is still there, my mom and my brothers, my two brothers and everything. But everything fared out um, fairly you know, well for those guys. But we did get some damage down there, and um, we lost some few people in the midst. But um, everybody's pulling together as far as you know, I've, I've been here, and I hadn't had a chance to visit that area yet. I've been here mainly because um, my home in Beaumont, we don't have any power and water at the time. so. So you uh, got hit twice in Jasper yes, and sir. in Beaumont. Yes, sir. But everything is everything is fine at the moment, and uh, we've been blessed. Well, we're rooting and praying for you and your family, Zach, to say the very least. Thank you very also, much. Also, notice you got a, a a bobo here. What what what, oh, what yeah. kind of injury do you have on your leg? Well, I, um, I end up tearing my patella tendon and some meniscus damage. You know, um, that was I, going for coffee or going <laughs> to the coke machine. How did that work out? Well, I was out on the field. You know, I'm a high energy guy, and um, at times, you know, um, just something about football, man. Just, you know, it runs through me, and I'm out there, and um, I get excited, and um, I was doing a little running and jumping, and I guess I had a little incident there. But I'm fine at the moment. You know, I've had surgery on it, and I'm making my way back, and I'm bending the knee pretty good at this point, getting good. the rehab in. So good. I'm on my way back to running again. Are the players giving you any advice at all to <laughs> prevent this in the future? Yeah, well, you know, the players have been very supportive of me, you know, and they were they seem very to be very concerned about me, man. And um, at this point now, you know, it's just mainly myself is just slowing down and. You know, to continue to pre pre prepare mentally and um, make sure that, you know, I'm on top of things. You know? okay. well, good luck to you, Zach. Thank you very much. So Zach Bronson, <laughs> safeties coach, McNeese State University. Well, Coach, you, uh, you got Zach on injured reserve now? Is that what it is? Zach could probably still play a lot of people on injured reserve. That guy was a great player. I played with him my senior year, and, uh, you know, arguably he's the best safety that's ever played at McNeese. Of course, Leonard Smith's the best DB, but... I mean, Zach was a four-time all-conference guy, played for the 49ers for seven years. Guy was incredible, incredible football player. You know, Coach, he's the only Cowboy that made all-conference all four years while he was here at Magnus. Well-deserving. You know, the first game he ever played, he made National Player of the Week. We played against Northern Iowa, and he picked off Kurt Warner twice and 
ran one back to the uh, to the house, so say, for a touchdown. And uh, so the first game he ever played, he was National Player of the Week. So it just tells you what type of player he was. Great athlete, pretty good coach. Thank you, Coach. Yes, sir. We'll be back right after this break. Stay with us. At Delta Downs, we're famous for exciting casino and racing action. And with a stunning new hotel, pool, and restaurant, the new Delta Downs is just too good to pass up. So there's no cars in this commercial, but we're not going to talk about cars. We're going to talk about an experience. I think it's safe to say that people's expectations of their customer experience these days is pretty low. But you're about to spend your hard-earned money, sometimes tens of thousands of dollars of it. Don't settle for being treated like you're worth less than that. Expect a red carpet experience, not the same old shady salesman or bully manager or long hold times you're used to. All you have to do is raise your expectations and then look around and see who's left to choose from. Here's the places. These are the people. They are courteous, attentive, knowledgeable, in a word, professionals. So great prices, great products, awesome people. This combination is the reason Southwest Louisiana has voted Pompelli Tire the number one tire store year after year. We're honored and thankful, and our pledge to you is your continued satisfaction. Pompelli Tire, Ruth Street in Sulphur, Bryant Street, Lake Charles. Every Friday and Saturday in September, it's a cash grab at Delta Downs. Every 30 minutes, you can win a chance to face off in the cash machine and grab up to $10,000 cash. Just take I-10 to Vinton. Visit deltadowns.com for details. All right, Coach, we have an upcoming opponent. We're back on the road again. Go to Alcorn, Alcorn State. All right, what about Alcorn State? What do they do? Well, they do all kinds of things. They right. run the ball, they throw the ball. Quarterback's a good athlete. Okay. So we face another good one. Of course, that's home of Steve McNair. You know, Steve oh, McNair yeah. was a great player yes, there. Yes, he was. Sure the was. actual, the coach is his brother. Come his on. brother is the head coach at Alcorn. Yeah, I met him over the um, the Christmas break at our coaches' convention. Uh, really good guy. And um, so they got a good football program. They really do. Last week, they played against FIU. They played them on Friday night because of all the weather. Okay. They actually played in Birmingham, I think, uh, somewhere in Alabama. I think it was Birmingham. All right. They lost 17 to 10, Ooh. you know, so... Uh, so FBS opponent though, but uh, they're one and one, and we're one and one. So uh, we played them twice. Played them in 2001, I think, over there, and they also played uh, us at our place before. So we won them, but we beat them both. We times. have won both times, okay. yes, sir. All right, coach. Four-hour drive. Four-hour drives. So, yeah, we're gonna stay in Jackson, uh, and then we'll drive over to the game. I think it's about a 45-minute drive from Jackson. So uh, looking forward to it. Or be a good atmosphere. Okay, and we're talking about Jack Spinks Stadium in. Lorman, Mississippi, they're saying. Lorman, Mississippi, yes, okay. sir. All right. uh, it's kind of in the middle of kind of nowhere, you know. It's, well, that's all right. We'll find it. We'll find Absolutely it. Absolutely. We'll find it. it. But uh, Cowboys injury report, everybody okay? Uh, we've got some bumps and bruises. Okay. We really do. We've got a couple, we've got a total of three linebackers out now, uh, which is starting to pay it, play its toll on our special teams. Uh, so hopefully we get some of them back, but I don't know. Uh, got a tight ends out, uh, Austin Nelson. Had uh, shoulder surgery, so we're starting to get the bug a little bit. Okay. Uh, do you look for uh, Ogeron to come back? Ogeron should be back this week, and uh, everything ought to be on go. Great. All right, fans, don't get to go to the game. Tune in again next Tuesday when we'll be back with Coach Lance Gibney for another edition of Inside Cowboy Football. <laughs>